This is a quick introduction of the administrative features of the Forum Sentry Security Gateway. We'll begin by logging into the Secure Web Administration interface. Once we log in, based on the domains that we've configured and the roles associated with each administrator, we'll be presented with the menu options as to what particular items uh, we are able to view and which particular items we're able to edit with the read and write privileges affiliated with our domain and role. Uh, in this case, uh, the user that I've logged in as, the administrator, is a super user which has access to all features. In the interface, it's broken down into several reusable components. Uh, the diagnostic section is the location whereby information regarding statistics, reporting, logging, uh, API um, hooks for SNMP, uh, JMX, uh, type logging, data sources for database archiving and, and reporting. Um, so within the diagnostic section are areas to look at the, the general health of the device, statistic information, monitoring, uh, reporting uh, for creating charts and historic reports, trending reports, SNMP settings for traps as well as MIBs directly accessible to pull information uh, from the Sentry devices um, about statistics, health, uh, all the way down to really low-level stuff like uh, network uh, packet uh, information. Logging uh, information, syslog, destinations, settings for lifecycle management in the logs in terms of granularity, specific error codes to log, uh, for transactions, pattern matches to, to log certain uh, things that match patterns. So the diagnostic section encapsulates all those features. Under the gateway section is where policies are created with regard to how uh, protocols uh, coming in uh, for transaction patterns coming into the gateway uh, and going out from the gateway uh, were called listener and remote policies. Uh, and there's many different types that Sentry supports, HTTP, FTP, SFTP, uh, MQ, TIBCO EMS, JBoss, uh, and many others. And you can have any protocol going in, any protocol going out. Uh, Sentry will automatically mix the protocols for you live. Proxy policies for any remote servers that need to go out via a proxy. Um, our WSDL library and WSDL policies features allow you to uh, bring in and uh, store uh, the various WSDLs so that we provide a repository for storage and then can derive virtual WSDLs from those libraries whereby Sentry can combine operations across multiple services into singular WSDLs and expose more simplified integration points for trading partners that can have access to a single aggregate WSDL uh, containing uh, only those operations of interest. XML policies is actually provides uh, support for uh, XML, HTML, REST, JSON, uh, pass-through policies, reverse proxies, um, many, many different types of transactional policies that are um, uh, effectively across uh, the spectrum of, of different application uh, formats. Taskless groups uh, are the mechanisms by which to accomplish processing tasks on Sentry for various transaction types. Uh, the, the tasks are held in uh, task groups whereby uh, certain operations can uh, occur uh, with regard to uh, identification of transactions, uh, whether it be a web service or a JSON-based transaction or HTML portal uh, or uh, XML uh, transaction. The type of tasks that can be done uh, very uh, uh, substantially in terms of what's, what can be accomplished um, there's uh, about a hundred different types of processing tasks under the hood. Each of these tasks are uh, no code. Uh, they can be uh, combined together. So you can sign data, encrypt data, uh, convert formats in JSON to XML, SOAP to XML, SOAP to JSON, uh, map attributes from a user identity store into an XML document or from XML into a header, uh, remote routing. And all of these various uh, features also, uh, like Signature, it conforms to the OASIS standards for XML and uh, WS Security signatures, and same with encryption and decryption. Onboard virus scanning capability, 
uh, directly on board, validation capability, addressing both asynchronous and synchronous. So all these tasks can be set up to process various types of data patterns, whether it be on an FTP channel or an HTTP channel or a JMS channel, um, whereby the Sentry can, as an intermediary, uh, operate on that data, transform it, convert it, archive it, sign it, uh, verify it, etc. Generate uh, identity assertions, identity tokens, so a, a, a multitude of different things as far as task processing um, that can be accomplished on different transaction patterns. The resources provides the uh, basically holding for places uh, for reusable uh, type tasks. So the keys, um, Sentry is uh, DoD PKI certified. Uh, application, uh, all the key management, you can do key import, key generation, uh, CSR uh, signing requests, and key management whereby existing keys um, that may need to be resubmitted for signing, can uh, you can regenerate CSRs, uh, you see all the details of the keys. So PKI key management is greatly simplified in Sentry, your keys are brought in, uh, provided in the key policies, and then um, subsequent policies like SSL or digital signatures or encryption are derived from those keys, using, uh, providing a, a very uh, simplified reusable scheme uh, for abstracting the keying information from the actual policy association. Signer groups are the mechanism by which uh, the Sentry can uh, do X509 uh, certificate authentication. So for S2A SSL or a digital signature verification, um, where we take the N entity certificate authenticated against the chain, checking the CRL revocation checks, again, all uh, according to uh, certified um, uh, X509 path validation capabilities. SSL uh, policies allow you to abstract and, and reuse uh, both terminating SSL for inbound connections as well as initiating SSL for outbound connections. And that includes the ability to take uh, an authenticated certificate, uh, a certificate from a client authenticating against the trust chain, affiliating the DN with the user if you choose to, uh, and then providing access control, extraction of attributes, etc. Sentry also allows you to um, uh, control the cipher suites that can be negotiated for SSL. The XML encryption, decryption, signature and signature verifi uh, verification um, uh, st uh, uh, policies are basically there to provide, again, another layer of abstraction whereby you can define the algorithms, the digest algorithms, where the certs come from. Uh, each of these types of policies provide a way to map to the key in the digest algorithm, again, abstracting and providing a reusable policy that you can use to sign data, encrypt data, uh, etc. Our pattern match is a full regex uh, policy uh, uh, framework whereby you can create sets of regex patterns that can be used to identify characteristics and criteria in, 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 in data's, uh, data flow as well as replace information if you want to obfuscate or, or remove certain uh, information within the message patterns you can do so by way of uh, the pattern match policies. Error templates can be set up to have a, a specific framework in terms of what uh, type of error goes back to the clients uh, and trading partners on each uh, listener policy so that that can be a consistent framework, consistent uh, way by which to ensure a, a structured response. Redirect policies are the way by which to define uh, events for uh, portal federation, uh, mostly using the HTTP transaction uh, realm whereby Sentry can provide uh, full portal federation single sign-on capability and redirect based upon credential success and credential failure to public and private sections of a, of a portal um, by way of redirect policies. The IDP area is where the rules and groups are, are, in, are defined for intrusion detection prevention and this is where the governance characteristics and threat uh, prevention uh, aspects of the gateway are recognized where things such as uh, limiting access rates, limiting payload sizes, scanning for viruses, checking for authorization failures, um, various uh, threat vectors on the SOAP, XML, uh, web, uh, HTML, and JSON channels are uh, automatically uh, detected uh, by Sentry using the IDP framework. And the rules can be defined in the granularity of thresholds for governance. You can have, uh, you know, rate governance, size governance, complexity governance. The actions you can take based on that are things like alerting only, logging, archiving, 
Um, you can do uh, basic alerts out of uh, email, logging, SNMP traps, database, SOAP logger, even uh, custom logging on JMS channels. Uh, your uh, uh, prevention settings include future access restrictions including blocking and throttling. Your IDP rules can be scheduled so that they have specific times uh, or days that they're active. IDP config allows for aggregating IDP information across multiple instances of Sentry such that you can uh, adhere to and conform transaction patterns to an aggregate rate across multiple instances of Sentry deployed uh, throughout the enterprise. The access section is where you create the access control lists for user-based token access control, IP filtering and IP access control, whereby you can create subnets and defined ranges that are allowed or denied based on certain transaction patterns and listeners. Um, Zacamal, full Zacamal support uh, for both uh, the Zacamal specification as well as a couple of vendor-specific Zacamal implementations. Uh, the domains and roles here define the ways by which from an administrative uh, activity for Sentry you can define and segment virtually the domains where policies can reside as well as the specific roles that administrators who log in can have. So in your roles you can selectively choose which particular areas of the menu item on the left will actually appear and be available based on the credentials that are provided to gain access. The user policies is quite uh, extensive in terms of the adapters that we provide directly on board. Uh, local user creation capability and local group uh, capability, as well as adapters for LDAP, Kerberos, CA SiteMinder, IBM Tivoli, Oracle's Core ID, and Select Access, IBM's Clear, uh, Clear Trust, RSA's Clear Trust, I mean, HP Select Access. Uh, Standards-based W Address Trust adapters, Sun Java Sun Access Manager, an Open SSO. Uh, all out-of-the-box capabilities for uh, integrating natively uh, and directly to identity systems within your environment um, to leverage that those identities for authentication, um, authorization, and access control uh, centrally on the gateway. The system settings allow you to set up preferences, characteristics, uh, naming the system such that all the logging gets aggregated and specifically targeted per which sentry logged them. Uh, the configuration capabilities for global device management provide for uh, backup, uh, configuration storage, policy mirroring, uh, agent-based uh, GDM whereby uh, you can cluster instances uh, and then target those instances to promote policies uh, from uh, a central uh, policy store out to uh, agent groups or, or, or uh, managed instances of Sentry in the environment. We have a full WSDL API that allows uh, access to uh, SOAP methods that provide uh, an API-based mechanism to uh, create the policies, manage policies, view the policies, just as we're doing here in the Web Administration interface. The WSDL API is a full SOAP-capable API that can uh, be used also to um, do this uh, administration tasks uh, and automate them through SDKs, etc. Some of the partner integrations basically are for monitoring our, our, our default uh, antivirus detection capability on board, whereby we have uh, the capability to do my, uh, MIME, DIME, MTOM, inline base 64, form post, URL post type uh, scanning, where Sentry interprets the formats and can scan for viruses and malware inside of these messages, messaging formats. That includes things like encrypted signed messages where Sentry can decrypt, verify, and, and scan for the AB information. So ultimately, uh, the policies are configured, uh, you know, whereby there's reusable components, often your security, identity, uh, governance type characteristics are similar across transaction patterns. Uh, the PKI information is encapsulated, so the notion of administration with Sentry is that you've built the foundation of your policies and then can simply um, reuse those for new transaction patterns, new services that come online, etc. Um, and so that's basically the, the general premise uh, behind how the, the graphical interface is laid out. Um, and that's the, uh, the inter initial introduction of uh, the policy features.